Okay, in this section of the course, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting polynomials. Uh, so we're going to start out with a few polynomials, and we're going to figure out how to basically simplify them by adding the right terms together. So to start with, I'm going to write down a few different things, and we'll, we'll talk about them. What if I have something like 3y, that's a term, uh, and uh, 4y? The first thing I want to figure out here is I'm going to ask you, are these um, what we call like terms? Uh, and if they are like terms, we're going to add them together. Um, what do I mean by a term? Well, we have three y's here, which is three times y, and we have four y's here, which is four times y. And when I say like terms, really what I mean is all of the variables that come after the number here, the coefficient, are, are the, in the two terms, are all of the variables the same? with the same exponents and everything. Are they identical? The numbers in the front can be different, but the variables off to the end, um, they have to be the same in order to be like terms. So for this, these two are like terms. And because they're like terms, I can simply add them. So the sum of these two is simply 7y. All I do is I add the two, um, the two coefficients. And you can kind of think of this as, as apples. Okay, I have three apples, right, three times one apple, I have three apples, and I also have, you know, um, four apples. Whoops, I spell apple correctly. And the question is, you know, the, the really the thing is, the only way that you can add or subtract these things uh, and really arrive at something simpler is if, is if the, the thing you're talking about, in this case apples, if they're the same. If this were three apples and four oranges, you really can't add those together and arrive at at some number of, some, of you know, you can't say you have seven apples and oranges. It has to be the same thing next to the number. So in this case, y is kind of like apples, and y is kind of like apples. So basically, you can only, the way to remember it is you can only add apples to apples. You can only add or subtract oranges to oranges. You can't, you can't have different variables here and expect to add them up. So to illustrate that, let's turn back to math. What if I have a term like 3x and a term like 3y. And the question is, are these like or unlike terms? And can I add them or subtract them? The answer is they are unlike terms because the variable here, they're different for each term. I have three x's here and three y's, so this would be like three apples and three oranges. So they're, they're unlike terms. And because of that, I can't add them or subtract them. Okay. What if I have a couple different terms? 3x cubed is one term. 4x cubed is another term, and 6x cubed is another term. Are these like or unlike terms? And the answer is they are like terms, because in each case, the variable that I'm dealing with is x to the third, x to the third, x to the third. And because they're identical in each term, they're all like terms. If, if one of these things were like x to the tenth power, then it would be different. It, 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 that would not be a like term when you compare with the rest of them. So because these are like terms, I can add them. And when I add them, this is 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13x to the thirds. Okay? And as a final example, uh, well, almost a final example, what if I have a term like uh, minus 5x to the third y squared? and a different term like 13x to the third y squared. Are these like terms or not? And the answer is they are like terms. Why? Notice I have x to the cube times y squared. These are my variables. And in this term, I have x to the third, and I also have a y squared, and they're multiplied together. As a unit, this thing is the same as this thing, and, and all of their variables have to be exactly the same. If one of them looks a little different, or if one of these exponents is a little different from the other one, you cannot add them in their unlike terms. But in this case, this thing right here is exactly the same as this one. So because of that, I can add these together and end up with 18, what, x to the third, y squared. And you can think of this unit here, this x cubed y squared, this is kind of like apples. I have five apples. There's a bunch of variables here, but I just call it apples. 13 apples. So I can arrive at 18 apples. The, the letters in here are kind of meaningless. They don't really mean anything to us yet. Um, uh, you know, but, but, but it's important to know what's like and unlike terms because eventually we're going to start simplifying pretty complicated expressions here in a minute uh, and equations. 
and we've already done a little bit of that, but we're going to get into it even more, and uh, we're going to need to know what a like term is so we can know if it's legal to, to do it or not. So as a final example in like and unlike terms, what if my first term is like x squared y, another term I have is x times y, and the final term I have is 3xy squared. My question to you is, are these terms, this is a term, this is a term, and this is a term, are these terms like terms? Let me make this clear, this is an x here. Are they like terms? Well here I have, we have a negative 1 out here in the front, but here I have x squared y. There is no x squared y here. There is no x, y, uh, x squared y here. This is close. This is x, y squared, but it has to be exactly identical. The exponents have to be the same, and the letters have to be the same. So none of these look the same, these variables. I have an x times y, and here I have an x squared times y, but like I said, the exponents have to be the same. So because none of these match up, these are all unlike terms. And because of that, you cannot just add these together. This is kind of like apples, and this is kind of like oranges, and this is kind of like pears. You just can't add them up. The only time you can add them up is if they are exactly identical. Okay. Now that we've got that squared away, let's go ahead and get into some actual simplification of things. And the goal in these problems here is we're going to go ahead and simplify these expressions. Here's an algebraic expression. Negative 8t squared minus 4t squared. I want to simplify this. I want to see if I can make it simpler. Well, here I have a t squared, and here I have a t squared, and I have numbers in front, and because the t squared is common to both terms, this is kind of like apples, and this is kind of like apples, I can simply add these together. So negative 8 minus 4, if you go back to the other videos and adding and subtracting numbers, that's simply negative 12, and it's negative 12 what? It's negative 12 t squares. Apples, apples, apples. Okay? You just carry the variables through because it's a common thing here. You're, you're describing the number of, of t squares, which is kind of like the number of, of apples. Okay? Let's go to a different example. What if I had 18 x to the fifth power times y squared minus 11 x to the fifth power times y squared. Can I simplify this? The answer is yes. Why? Because this term involves x to the fifth times y squared. This term involves x to the fifth times y squared. Because the variables are exactly the same and the exponents are exactly the same and I'm simply subtracting them, um, I can just do that subtraction. 18 minus 11 is 7. 7 what? 7x to the fifth y squared. Apples, apples, apples. I just carry over the exponents because I'm describing, I'm subtracting something in terms of these variables here, so they just come right on through. Another example. 3rst, where these are all variables. R is variable, S is variable, T is variable. Plus 4. RST plus 7 RST. What does this equal? And first of all, can I even add these together? I have RST here, RST here, and RST there. So yes, I can add them up. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 what? 14 RSTs. Oranges, 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 oranges. That's why I can add them together, because they, they're the same. I'm describing the same thing here. Um, and just, just to throw in a wrench here, you know, if this problem were a little different and this was RST cubed and I was trying to add this stuff up, I would not, I would be able to add these together because these are the same, but I would not be able to add the 3 to it because even though the R and the S is the same and even though it involves some T, it has, everything has to be exactly the same in order to add these up, so I would not be able to add this 3 to it. That's just sort of a side note. So, what if I have something like, a little bit more complicated, 3x all squared minus 4x squared plus 10x squared. Can I simplify that? 
Well, I have an x squared here and an x squared here, so I can definitely simplify this one. This one, maybe you can do it, but it looks like there's some something wrapped up here and some something here, so I'm not 100% sure about this one. So let's let's figure it out. Let's simplify this first term. When you have something in parentheses all raised to a power, what do you do? You apply the exponent to each individual thing inside when they're multiplied together. So this is simply going to be equal to 3 squared times x squared minus, and I'm just going to write the rest, 4x squared plus 10x squared. Okay? And I'm going to simplify this. 3 times 3, which is 3 squared, is simply 9. x squared minus 4x squared plus 10x squared. Now, I've simplified it a little bit. Now, can I add this stuff up? Well, I've got an x squared here, an x squared here, and an x squared here, so I can add these. Um, 9 minus 4 is 5, and 5 plus 10 is 15. So the answer is 15. 15 what? 15x squares. Okay. So we're making some progress here. Really, this is fairly simple. You're going to see this. I'm going to beat it into your head over and over again during this lecture. Um, pretty much the only time you can add things together in algebra is if the variables, you know, that are off to the right-hand side behind the numbers are exactly the same including the exponents and the variables. Let's do another fun one like that. What if I had 5x squared times y squared plus 2 parentheses xy all squared minus 3, whoops, parentheses, 3x squared, close parentheses, y squared. I want to try to simplify that. Well, when you're when you're tackled, you know, when you're when you're looking at a problem like this and you're not sure where to start, my advice is do what you know how to do. You know, you don't really know if you can start adding these together because I've been telling you over and over again the variables have to be exactly the same, but obviously this doesn't look the same as this, and this definitely doesn't look the same as this. So, there's no way for you to just start adding stuff. But we've already learned how to simplify something like this, and we've already learned how to simplify something like this. So let's do it. What is this term equal to? Well, I've got the 2. That's just going to stay out there. And then when I have something in parentheses multiplied together, raised to the power of uh, to, to an exponent, I apply the exponent individually to everything inside. So I'm going to have x squared times y squared, just like that. And what is this equal to? Uh, all I have is is um, 3x squared times y squared. So even though this looks different, I can just remove these parentheses. This is really 3x squared y squared. Nothing is raised to any power here, so I don't really have to even do anything. It's just the way the problem was written. Now that I have these simplified, let me rewrite the problem. 5x squared y squared plus 2x squared y squared minus, don't forget this is minus up here, 3x squared y squared. Now, after all of that, I've got an x squared y squared, an x squared y squared, and an x squared y squared. Apples, apples to apples. So I can add them up. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. This equals 4. For what? For x squared times y squared. Because the variables that I'm describing carry right through. Apples, 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 apples. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to a different, a slightly different kind of problem. Again, it's going to look the same as far as what we're actually doing, but uh, you know, practice makes perfect uh, in this business, in this this type of math. <laughs> 